What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and it seems like the Final Fantasy 7 remake has been putting people in a roller coaster of emotions lately. We got some news today that not everyone is happy to hear. It involves the remake and it being split into episode releases. Now, let's take a look at the Game Informer article. Of course, we're going to talk about people's opinions here. We're going to look at some popular opinions out there. And then, potentially, you know, I'm going to give you guys what my thoughts are, um, what the pros and the cons are. But anyways, so the, epi the Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be episodic. So let's take a look real quick. Apparently, life is strange. The Final Fantasy VII Remake that stole the show at the PlayStation Experience keynote is not going to be one single game. It's episodic. Um, episodic, however you want to pronounce it. Um, Square Enix announced the huge news in a press release that went out at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time tonight. So only a few minutes ago, rather, um, rather for me at least, it was an hour ago, the Final Fantasy VII Remake will be told across a multi-part series, each entry providing its own unique experience, the publisher says. No further information is available to how it will impact the narrative, pricing, or general timing. Of course, it's way too early, I guess, to give out any of those details. For those looking for a Final Fantasy VII fix right now, a port of the PC version was released yesterday on the PS4. So, take it how you want it. There's going to be how many parts? Across a multi-part series. So, they didn't really tell us if it would be, you know, 3, 6, 9, 12, 18. And that's one of the cons here. Now... I'm going to give you guys my own personal take on this, and I'll try to be, you know, quick about it. Here are the things that I think are going to be bad about this. But once again, this is only my opinion. Maybe these aren't going to be the case for everybody. But um, one bad thing about the fact that it will be split into episodes is it's delayed continuity. Like, I mean, honest, honestly, Final Fantasy VII probably is one of the most dynamic stories to ever feature inside of an RPG. And the fact that we're going to now get that experience split across multiple releases, across multiple times... It might just hurt the fact that some people who are new to the series, maybe some people are saving their experience with Final Fantasy VII for the remake only. Those are the people are the ones that are kind of hurt from this a little bit more because they're not going to get the series story in a whole way as if they could with the with the original release. So that's a negative. And then another thing as well is that when will these episode releases end? Like they said in the article, we don't really have any number given in terms of how many of these releases are going to come out. And on top of it all, we're also probably going to have to pay for each separate one. Now, considering the level of quality that Square Enix puts into their work, what is going to be the price of these each individual episodes? Will they all total the amount of a standard retail game for around $65? Or will they all be like $30 or something like that? How many parts will there be? It's too early to decide all this information now or to see if it's a true negative at the moment because we don't even know those two details, how many episodes and how much will they be. But it's possible to interpret it as somewhat of a negative thing for us. We've seen games with release episodics like um, Sonic 4, for instance, and they, they don't turn out too hot, man. So it's it's even though I know some people are over exaggerating about this, they're calling this the death of the goddamn remake. I don't think we can jump to that conclusion just yet. But it's understandable where certain people have their doubts. They have their they, they, they question what exactly is the meaning behind a move like this. And then another thing is it just generally feels like milking. Of course, obviously, Final Fantasy VII, the remake, <clears throat> is being brought up in modern times today. And we have sort of a lot of controversies in gaming nowadays in regards to company practices and the way they treat their consumers. Is this potentially a money grab by Square Enix? We know for a fact that they haven't really been on the best times financially lately. Um, and this is stuff that you can look up for yourself. This, these aren't just speculation. These are numbers. Square Enix hasn't necessarily been pulling in the same that they always have been beforehand. So, I mean, is this some kind of money grab or them trying to take advantage of the franchise? Or is it something else entirely? Now, those were the cons. I know most of you are probably salty as hell and maybe typing out a comment to flame me on them or something like that. But I want to tell you now about the pros. This is where I feel this could potentially be a great move for the remake itself. Now... One thing you have to consider with Final Fantasy VII, this game is fucking huge! Holy shit! <coughs> the game is massive! I downloaded, my girlfriend and I, we downloaded the PlayStation 4 release that came out today on the 6th of December. Do you know how big that bitch is? It's four fucking gigabytes! This game came out in 1997! Do you understand how massive that is? Do you understand how huge 4 gigabytes was for a game back then? It, it, it set a standard, dog. There's nothing that came ever even close to that size back then. On the PS1? How many fucking discs was the original game? Three fucking discs! So imagine, how in the fuck is 4 gigabytes in 1997 going to translate to a full-fledged game in 2017? 
it's unreal. The original, the, the original is four gigs. Maybe the remake, when it's all together, done, and you know it's in the future, that shit's probably gonna be like close to maybe you know 70 gigs. I don't fucking doubt it, dude. I really don't doubt it. So I mean, we have games nowadays that aren't as big as Final Fantasy, and they're like 50 gigs, aren't they? 60, 70 gigs for games that aren't a fraction of the size of the, the world Final Fantasy 7 is. And we're going to have a remake of that bitch with the graphic quality and the, and the fidelity that it has that we saw in the trailer. Because of that size of the game, maybe it's impossible for us to expect anything else but an episodic release. Final Fantasy 7 sets standards and it set new precedents which changed the way RPGs were perceived by the entire gaming world. There's no way in hell that they're going to have the same challenges that a regular gaming company would have with their releases in the modern day. Final Fantasy VII, like we've been, tell uh, we've, been we've been told this before plenty of times by Square Enix and their developers, VII is fucking huge, and the only way we're going to be able to bring this game to mo they, they even said, they, didn't they say multiple times, we can't bring it to any modern console because the game is so huge? This is the only way I think the game is going to be able to happen. Episode releases, it makes so much sense because it would require so much time. If they truly wanted to release 7 with the same meticulous level, um, detail, attention to all the detail in the game that they do for all their series, then we wouldn't be getting this bitch until 2025. I have no doubt about it, man. I mean, games like this require work, and 7 looks like it's probably going to have the best looks of any game ever. It's going to be 2025 if they really want to release the entire game with all those details and everything else added into it, along with the extra bonuses and whatever the hell else they want to do all at once. So, I mean, with the episode releases, we're potentially getting Final Fantasy VII a lot earlier than we normally would. Now, 2017 is the 20-year anniversary of the goddamn game. Obviously, they're going to aim to get a date over there. And even though some of you may be saying, oh, two years is plenty of time to make a full game, um... It's not actually, and um, even if it was, for some reason, Final Fantasy VII isn't just a fucking game. Like it, it's a goddamn saga, man. <laughs> it seriously is. So I mean, honestly, this enables us to play the game earlier. And even though we won't get the full experience at one time, it still means we at least get something. And I'm glad about that because I don't think this would be able to happen any other way. And then another thing that could potentially be a pro to this is the fact that since this game is coming out in episode releases, doesn't this mean that Square Enix can pay way more attention to all of the details in one episode at one time? Sure, maybe one episode will come out every year, but goddamn, man, or maybe one episode every year and a half or two years, but this just means that they can put all that attention on those individual episodes and truly make them shine and represent Final Fantasy VII, the original, in its remade form perfectly. And wouldn't you want that? I mean, you know, Shigeru Miyamoto said it himself, man. Uh, a rush game is bad forever, but a game that's delayed can be potentially made good. So, I mean, this is some strange way, I guess, of delaying Final Fantasy VII, the remake. But considering all the facts, the numbers, and the details, the truths of this game, the episode releases, like it or not, is probably one of the only ways that we're going to be able to get this goddamn game. I mean, Square Enix was saying beforehand it was impossible, now we're getting it. As much as it hurts that we're not going to get the full experience, I feel better knowing that we will get a full experience eventually, and it'll have all the polishing that Square Enix is known to do on their flagship titles. And I'm happy enough with that, man. But anyways, it's not just about me. My opinion doesn't mean shit. Who gives a fuck about me? Nigga, let's check what the fucking people are saying on Twitter right now. So we're going to head to Twitter right now. We're going to see what the general opinion is. Hopefully you won't see any fucking porn, because I follow a lot of goddamn porn-related chum, uh, porn-related, uh, tw tweet Twitters on my Twitter feed? Anyways, let's see. Um, let me see. Who's, saying, who's talking about this? I'm not going to say Square Enix effed up again, but this is a tad on the mistreatment side for Final Fantasy VII fans from Final Fantastic. Maybe. But like I said, I don't think this game would be able to happen realistically any other way. But that's just me. Do you agree with that statement? Or do you think they could make Final Fantasy VII a fully-fledged, all-the-trimmings remake in two years? What do you think? Um, let me see here. What are more people saying about this? In fact, let me just search up FF real quick. I really want to see. All right, so um, let me see here. There's a lot of people with FF. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got Hotomi Tanaka. Okay, so Final Fantasy VII Remake. Eris dies at the end. Needs to be the subtitle for one of their parts. What the hell? That's fucked up, bro. Well, I mean, anyways, um, you guys get the deal. I mean, I was trying to find these opinions. Maybe I should, maybe I should actually search up. Final Fantasy VII. Um, let me see here. 
All right, this isn't working as smooth as I wanted it to, but um, whatever. I can work on the logistics of how to navigate Twitter um, hashtags later. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you agree with my opinion or do you think I'm an idiot? I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.